Trevor, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Gainesville, Florida, where we're going to listen to Ass Elmo tell us how he's going to turn himself in and go to jail for a while. And then he's going to e-beg for $50,000. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! What's going on, folks? Auditing America here. I apologize for interrupting this video but I have a special message that I have to deliver to you guys. I'm sad to inform that this will be our last upload until further notice. The reason is that we've piled up multiple illegal arrests around the country that we have to take care of. The only way for us to get us back out there is for you to go to gofundme.com and make your minimum donation to Auditing America. Find Auditing America on their website. We've already published a GoFundMe fundraiser now wait a minute good people he has over 100 million views what did he do with all that money i know how much money i made and i have half those views i have half those views what did you do with all that money boy oh well hopefully you support your four little girls that you have and look how much he's raised out of fifty thousand dollars four hundred and seven dollars Looks like your people don't support you anymore, bro. Looks like you're tired of your crap. Yeah, go ahead and go to jail, man. That's where you belong. And stop all this Mr. American nonsense. You ought to do real good in jail. They're going to like your big mouth. Well, he doesn't have a big mouth. You know what he has, don't you, good people? He got a little pretty mouth, ain't he? And that will help us. Uh, finance our tour through the United States as well as covering legal fees. Also, I'm looking forward to turn myself in to a few states that are wanting me because they say I did something wrong when I didn't. So it's up to you to stand up for freedom, stand up for Mr. America as I've been standing up for you. We'll see you later. Continue watching the video. Anybody who gives this fool money just has too much money, they don't know what to do with it. Give it to the homeless people. Help feed the homeless, man, because this guy right here doesn't deserve a dime. Oh, I have to go to jail for something that I didn't do. Nobody goes to jail for something they didn't do. Yeah. Hey, let's watch the very last video that he's going to upload for a while. And I hope it's at least a year. That'll destroy his channel. Let's roll that clip. Anything else today? Oh, no, we don't. Hey, excuse me? Yes. You can't take a picture of me? I have authorization. From who? From the postmaster. May I know your name, please? Sure, I'm Enrique. Ah, uh, Vicenta? Yes, ma'am. There's a guy here taking pictures, and he said he have authorization from the postmaster. Where is, Where is your letter authorization? Um, I'll show you. Rick. Why, why are you taking pictures? I'm working on a news story. What is it? I'm working on a news call, call story. Them. I don't news know. News story? Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> do you have your ID with you anywhere are you working? What? Do you have your ID with you anywhere are you working? What? Do you have your authorization or ID with you? What are you doing here? I must apologize, ma'am, but this is a drake of society, otherwise known as a misfit moron. He has no job. He has a criminal record. So he's been reduced to frauding for ad revenue on YouTube and other social media platforms. But now he's headed off to jail, so he won't be bothering anyone. But he's like a cockroach. He'll keep coming back. I don't want you guys to be have somebody you over here. I'm sorry? Somebody sent it to you over here. Somebody sent me what? 
to come here into the post office and take this the is office. this is my job ma'am yeah i don't want to be in what the kind of job are you talking about oh, lord can i speak to you supervisor please we don't have a supervisor here okay well i have authorization okay. let me explain no, 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 turn off your camera then i will talk to you turn off the camera why are you guys why are you guys being why are you guys being rude to me yes you are yes i i have i'm telling you obviously i know where i'm at ma'am i have authorization to be here poster seven needs to be rewritten it really does we have to all write to the postmaster general in washington and let him know what the deal is man these people are just taking advantage of the post office and the people at the post office are too nice to tell these yahoos just to get the hell out. Yeah, I'm telling you, we just got to take that whole paragraph right on out of there. What's your ID? Where, where are you working? Where's your ID? What's your name? You're... Right here, baby. That's my name. Okay. That's my uniform. Good. I'm Enrique. Nice to meet you. I have the right I'm to nice be to here. Meet you too. I don't want to be in the news. I understand, ma'am, but... I have authorization from the postmaster. You don't make this decision. That's what I'm. You have no, to respect. It's my face. Hey, it's my, it's my right. The postmaster sent you over here. I have postmaster the. Postmaster supposed to let us know. First. You guys should know already that for news purposes, we're allowed at the lobby. Yes, we are. Okay. Let me what are you doing to take pictures? I'm for taking what? video, ma'am. I'm taking a video. You taking a video for what? For news. For news purposes, ma'am. I explained it to you. I I've told okay, you. Honey, Can you look poster you seven? Okay, look. Yeah, Selmo, why don't you just tell this lady the truth? Tell her that you don't have a real job and the only way you can make a dollar is to go ahead and fraud it on YouTube for clicks and views. That's pretty pitiful under the guise of doing what? Protecting the First Amendment freedoms here in this country? Yeah, why don't you move to say, mm, not North Korea, how about Venezuela? I'll be right back. Why don't you call 911? Yeah, because yeah, he's harassing me. I'm harassed. I, I think you need to, because this is harassment. I'm being more than nice. Uh, but <laughs> can you call 911? You know, you Call 911. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're, That's saying, the... you're saying that with a smile on your face, but you are not listening to this. No, they're actually, they're not listening. We have rights too, man. You, know, you do. Don't want to be on you you do. Too. Well, maybe you can go home because you have. this is a public place. So I have the right to be here. Not only that, but You're I not have recording people. You don't. Yes, I do. Oh. You have you ever heard of paparazzis? We're in a public place. You I have. Now you think you're the paparazzi? I, I am. I actually no. am. Oh well. I would not argue with him because he wants you. To. No, no, I don't. Ask hey, Elmo. Can you tell the truth at least once in your life? If you don't get anyone to argue with you, what good is the video? Your subscribers want to see you argue with people and stand up for the First Amendment and the Constitution of our great country. Have you lost your bloody mind, boy? Arguing is what makes your channel good. Or at least that's what you think. So I just think... I absolutely don't. I absolutely... I've been more than loving and respectful. I'm actually like the Constitution Cupid, if you think about it today. Hi. How's it going? Can I have your name and batch number, please? Yeah, it's Officer Stewart, 1124. Officer Stewart, nice to meet you. My name's Enrique. I'm doing a First Amendment audit here. We have thousands of people watching our show. We haven't been dis uh, disorderly or interfering with the business. The people here just don't know about our constitutional right to film inside the post office. This gentleman back here, he encouraged everybody to call 911 in a very excited way. Um, we just want, we just want to hint you to you know let them know that we have the right to be there. I have authorization from the postmaster as well. Yeah, that's a lie, Enrique. You don't even have permission from your mama. Permission from the postmaster. Yeah, you have permission to use your mama's phone and she wants it back by 6 o'clock. She got a date tonight. So, so, But they also do have the right to trespass you from their building. Unless, I, if I'm breaking the law. No. Yes. No, they don't. Call your supervisor, please. Okay. Call your supervisor. Yes, please. Go before. We've been through this before. Call the sergeant. I'll tell you which sergeant right now. Call the sergeant, please. Hey, man, sorry, he did break one law. He was smoking by the door. Oh, that's, yeah. That's against the rules. Oh, I was smoking. Did you know the law? So Take me to jail. For, Take me to jail for that. I got then. It from here. Thank you, sir. There you go. <laughs> Look, last time I was here, our video reached 375,000 views. Yeah, I tell you something, Sonny Boy. You're not going to be getting that many views from now on because your channel is going to be dead as a 
doornail, no doubt about it. You sit in the slammer for a while, and your channel is going to go down to zero views. How about that, baby boy? Uh, I'm requesting a sergeant, please. So, uh, respectfully, respectfully, um, Officer Stewart. Uh, last time I was in, last time I was in Gainesville, we did only one video, and obviously not too many people doing these videos in public places around here. So it requires citizens to check up on on our rights. Um, we have a lot of police officers who believe that the post office could just say you can't be here and you, uh, uh, and then that's it that's the bottom line obviously you can't loiter in there but if i am uh working i am working on a new story right now i have the right to be there not only i have the right but their rules and regulations from poster seven uh clearly state that uh for news and advertisement purposes that's how these jehus get around yeah the photographs for news purposes but it doesn't say video in there a matter of fact, this entire paragraph, it doesn't says video, it says photographs. It doesn't say a damn thing about video. And it also says that uh, authorized personnel can kick your ass out of there. Authorized personnel would be who? The people that work there? Yeah, shut your mouth, Enrique. Let's speed this up a little bit since it's his last video. I don't want to stretch it out too much. Five minutes later. We stand in a little corner and we exercise our right to video record. And um, we see if, if these employees are actually respecting the oath that they took when they became postal workers. Just like you guys uh, take an oath as police officers, they take this, the very same oath. You did, brother. So it's just a matter of respecting our rights. Um, I haven't been nasty, rude, broken any laws. I haven't been disorderly. It's all about... Yeah, he requested. Okay. Yeah. So, how's it going, Sergeant? May I have your name and badge number, please? Sergeant Steve Sweeting, seven four five. Thank you so much. Um, I'm talking over here with Officer Stewart. I requested your assistance. He's been extremely nice and knowledgeable about our rights. I just want to, um, if if possible, to uh, you guys can educate the people inside about uh, our rights of being inside the post office. It always makes me laugh when frauditors want to educate somebody. These are the least educated members of our society, yet they want everybody else to be educated. Look at that little tattoo above his eyebrow, Mr. America. Yeah, Bubba and the boys ought to like that in a lockup. Hey, Mr. America, come over here and get down on your knees and let me show you something. If you, write, if you guys really think about it, I'm like the Constitution Cupid today going around standing up for the constitution shout out to heather ray tv make sure you guys go to uh go to her channel and subscribe show support let her know mr america sent you over guys that's why mr america does what he does you can find us everywhere everywhere shout out to the gainesville police department shout out to the uh, sergeant over here for saving the day officer reynolds officer stewart back in there educating uh the postal workers we will see you on the next one peace well, there you have it, good people. The final upload for a while from Ass Elmo. I wish it would have ended in a trespass or you got kicked out, but yeah, we got to take him uh, however we get him, right? And remember, that's why America, what do you say? That's why Mr. America does what he does. Why? We are educating people. Yeah. I bet that he dropped out of high school. I'm betting he never finished uh, secondary school. I'm betting he didn't. Did you finish grammar school? That's the question. Did you attend school at all? Who knows, man. I don't know what the laws are in Puerto Rico. Yeah, ass Elmo. We sure are going to miss you, boy. And <laughs> not. We're going to miss your shenanigans more than anything else. Well, good people, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, this is the place for you, and please subscribe. Oh, by the way, not to worry, there's plenty of other stupid frauditors out there, so we won't miss S. Elmo one bit. As always, S. Elmo, thanks for stopping by, sonny boy. I hope your time in jail is memorable if you get my drift. Hmm. Cheers to that. You guys, uh, you guys will definitely arrest me. He hit me in the nuts. Don't get close to me. Hey, you can you take all the video you want. Don't what get are you close doing? to me. You got close to me. Don't get what close to me. What are you doing to me? Uh, you got no life.
what do you what do you got no life you're out here filming the banks yep. i'm gonna ask for your id i'm not giving it okay then uh, well, i guess we're gonna go with the obstruction around <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that because you're soft. No, I'm not soft. Put the camera down, see soft. You work for the people, right? He doesn't pay your salary, does he? Dad, are you gonna put your gun out because you walk past you? What kind of a moron are you? You are unstable. There's no privacy in public, ma'am. Respectfully. But you're taking my picture. So here, here I am. It took five minutes out of your three years to confirm that you're not in compliance with three portions of FOIA. That's a fire hazard. You cannot lock people inside of the post. Don't touch me. Yeah. Don't touch me. Oh, you will touch me? Yeah, touch me again. See what happens. Get back. I have a right to defend myself. Defend I will defend myself. I'll defend myself, dude. Probably not even real. It's probably trash. Wait, shut up. Mind your own damn business. Don't touch my property, bitch. You're not going to write me a ticket for writing, walking in the opposing track. Get away it from is, me. It is then write a ticket. Write a ticket, scumbag. Information. How much does it cost? Step back. Step back. You're on video. You're threatening me again. Pass. So you're okay. threatening me again. No, so you're under arrest, okay? For what? Turn around, put your hands Let me call my lawyer. I'm being trespassed or what? No, listen. I'm not doing nothing. Listen, listen. Turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away from me. Oh my God. Oh, is that a law? What law is that? Federal law? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Federal law. Take After care of your shot. business and get so out of my face. You don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Do you know policy doesn't trump law? First Amendment protected activity? Control combat. Right here in the street. A coward won't do it. Your little heroin tattoos won't do it, right? I'm a YouTuber, and a million people are going to watch this, and they're going to call your building and flood it with calls. Let me know. I'll gladly sweep your leg. I will sweep your leg. I'm not joking. Good luck. Go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. I'm not interested in See, talking to you. Big, so you. Bro, get your dumb ass out of here. I'm not interested. Get your dumb ass out of here. You just have defamed me. Dave, um, you, you came into my channel. You came into my business. I'm going to I'm gonna take down a couple channels. Um, I figured out the formula. It's required to be prominently displayed in the public body. Here's your... Your hero, Dr. Dave, this is the guy right here who slandering my channel, slandering my content. There's a, uh, a, a case, a court case found on Google if you put his first name and last name. And then he's talking about he wants to sue for slander, tell him to go fuck himself. It gotta be prominently displayed. Well, we'll have to define prominent. We could define prominent. Prominently means in a way that stands out to easily be seen noticeably. Bunch of, bunch of, uh, specifiers on camera. You, you gentlemen have a wonderful day. He's the one who came out of nowhere on my channel and started talking, talking, uh, nonsense about my channel. What a clown that Tyron is. What a clown that Tyron is. Dave, you, you know, you have some type of disability, some type of sickness. You know, I don't, I don't know his mom or nothing like that. But he's the type of coward who started to talk about my mom in his videos. And you know, that, that's no good for, for anybody to be talking about anybody else's mom. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. End the illegal occupation now. Carry on. Thank you. Yes, I'm recording audio and video. Yes. Could you please stop? Thank Depending you. on how you act in front of the camera, you could act courteous and forthcoming and honor the public trust. He's making money off my videos, talking misleading folks about my videos. They made it about 10 videos defaming and slandering and misleading and lying about me. I, I have to record, thank you. I need to see a block diagram giving its functional subdivisions. I'm able to go down there and just request some more documents then I'll be on my way. At this point, the disturbances have already been committed and they want you out of the building. So oath okay. of office, Start. you're signed oath of office for Start. constitution. Start. Okay, you're right. violating my right. I know, go ahead sir. Clown. Sir, you can beat, they're, they're you can beat me up, you'll be violating sir. me, sir. Sir, I'm, I'm conducting okay. business. Sir, okay? where are you? Please, ha have some kind of respect for man to man. I mean, Am I being detained? You're going to be if you're not going to leave the building. Okay, sir. This is, is complete. Get your stuff and get out. Come on. Sir, that's not Step the way you're going to talk to me. I'm, I'm, I'm walking out nice. I'm in the middle of a meeting. Come on. Get okay. Out of come on, come on, come on. You're like an old man. I need to file a complaint on you, Chief. I need to file a complaint on you, Chief. Your best bet is to take a walk. Sir, you cannot violate somebody's rights. Public building, but you're in a private this office. Is, this is not a private office, sir. Yes, it is. This is public. There's no signs that say it's private. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm showing this video to my children to show them how government employees interact with members of the public. You're making here. false claims. I do have you're business here. You're disrupting What is your business? This is your favorite auditor. Audit them. The one who encourages you to audit them. That's a lie, ma'am. 
This, in, this act is not intended to cause an unwarranted invasion on personal privacy. Which statute are you referring to that you need an ID or a driver's license? I am not in my uniform. I do have my clipboard with me.